Come on in. Hi, how's it going? Busy, you? Oh, I bet you're busy. Not too bad. That's My name's Haley. I'm with iTech 451 Supply. How are you? Too bad. Like I said, just really busy today. But... Yeah. Can I take a seat? Yeah, feel free. Very good. Really? I was supposed to meet with Alejandro. Uh, yeah, he uh, was sick today, so called in, and I guess I gotta take his meetings today. So. Yeah, absolutely. Since I wasn't on your your like docket for today, do we, are we still good with about fifteen minutes? Yeah, I got maybe 10, 15 minutes. You got it. Perfect. Here's a card for you. Like I said, I'm with iTech Four Two One Supply, just power transmission components. I'm a, a account specialist for them. I met with Alejandro last week. Okay. We we're talking about kind of some committed inventory kind of stuff. Warranty had a few questions regarding all of that. Uh, but what's your role in the company? I'm the person manager here. Okay, perfect. So you're you're overseeing all of it. Yep, I buy what they tell me to buy, and you know I don't really pick out the parts or anything. I just try to find the best price. Okay, so you're you're getting all that info from your maintenance. Yeah, they usually tell me what to buy, and I farm it out and get as many quotes as I can because we just want to pay the cheapest price for everything. Yeah, absolutely. How many maintenance men do you have? Uh, 12 or so. Okay. Do, do you have a head of it then? Uh, head yeah. Of maintenance? Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. So you said you just get as many quotes as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, Whatever you're comfortable with sharing, who, who are you kind of quoting out right now and how's that going for you? Uh, which part are you talking about? Uh, any of them. I mean, motors, bearings, uh, cylinders for your presses, anything like that. Sure. Um, we work with a couple of people in town that stock a lot of that stuff for us. Mm -hmm. um, we use a couple of different suppliers because we need multiple sources. Mm -hmm. uh, we just can't afford to run out of anything. So yeah. we use, I think, Motion and uh, and somebody else here in town. But, uh, you know, they treat us pretty good. They keep parts on the shelf for the most part, except for nowadays with supply chains. It's a struggle all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's part of the things that we were talking about uh, that I was talking about with Alejandro. Um, and I, I even started out talking about it with, uh, Riley Miller, who's your shipping manager. Okay. Um, you just said that possibly you could help be helped out with another warehouse to kind of hold parts for you, okay. um, with a committed inventory list. And then that kind of started the talk with possibly a preventative maintenance plan. Do you know if you have one in play or if you guys are using one right now? Uh, we have never really had time to do anything like that. We just fix stuff when it breaks. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you think your uh, maintenance technicians would would appreciate that and maybe would want to start moving that forward? Uh, you'd probably have to talk to them about it to see if it's something they have time to do or if they want to do. I just got to buy the parts for them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how long have you been with the company? About 10 years. Yeah. You like it then? That's that's pretty good. It's a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear you. Whatever, whatever pays the bills at the end of the day. Yeah. But still, you... You gotta like coming into work, I guess. But um, so for that preventative maintenance plan, uh, we could what we kind of offer with that is also some sort of uh, documented cost savings or value added. Do you guys have to report anything like that uh, to your higher ups or or anybody within the company? Uh, it would help for sure. Yeah, but we'll you don't have like listen for looking for cost savings. We don't have a standard form or way to do that but okay so you don't even like meet a quota by year of like a certain amount of cost savings not right that. now but um we can get incentivized and bonus on stuff like that yeah. yeah absolutely are you so you guys aren't currently trying to find those with your current suppliers oh yeah we're always trying to find them okay yeah gotcha gotcha um so were there any parts um other than you know the long lead times that you guys were, were kind of struggling with or in terms of getting those? Yeah, we have a gearbox right now that we can't get them to ship to us, mm -hmm. um, either one of them. They're out of it. Yeah. Um, so we're struggling to find that. I'm looking for any possible place I can find something like that right now. Yeah. What brand of gearbox do you guys That's uh, a Bauer gearbox. Okay. Sounds good. You guys ever used a uh, Dodge? Uh, I think we've maybe used some of them. Yeah. We're a big um, distributor of Dodge. We have a lot of gearboxes on our shelf right now. It's it's pretty big carrying cost just because they are so hard to get from, from suppliers right sure. now. But if we were able to get maybe a list of those reducers that you're having a hard time getting a hold of, maybe I could get you back a quote and see if we have any in, in stock for you there. Sure. Yeah, I can get you yeah. a couple part numbers to cross yeah. over. 
I'll reach out. Would to have to be a drop in replacement though, because we got to be able to swap it out. Yeah, easy. absolutely. We don't want to make more work for your maintenance men at the at the end of the day. Perfect. So I'll reach back out and get those part numbers. Perfect. Where are you guys located again? Uh, so we're in Carney. Um, which my territory goes from Kearney to Grand Island. So we're still covering all those little towns like Wood River, uh, Shelton, Gibbon, all that kind of stuff. Um, one of your guys' uh, at least suppliers in the past, Mead uh, Industries, uh, uh, they're a client of mine. I actually have a testimonial that uh, Kais asked for. We've done some business with them in the past, um, working on their multiple uh, press just kind of worked on the fluid power components of that and while they were down. I had been struggling with it for a month or so, and then it finally did completely put out on them. So I brought in my uh, fluid power specialist. He took a look at it, uh, nailed down kind of the problem right away, and uh, we were able to get them quoted, and I ended up going and picking up the parts in Lincoln and bringing them back to him just to kind of speed up that process a little bit. But that was something that Kais wanted to hear about. But they're actually more of a competitor of ours than they are a supplier. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um they they had nothing but good things to say about you guys. That's kind of what what uh drove me to try to reach out to you and see if there's just some sort of mutual benefit in doing business together. Okay. So, yeah, so that's that's interesting to hear that. You know, yeah, would you uh be willing to supply us and not them? I uh, there would need to be uh, some sort of uh, account made up and if that was a, a stipulation I could definitely look into that okay. for you if that was a requirement on your guys' side. Okay. Yeah. I'd have to check with um more people on my team that are a little bit higher up than me. Okay. But I would look into that. Absolutely. So do you know that particular reducer that you're having trouble getting a hold of right now? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, Bauer one, two, three, four. Perfect. I will shoot that over to my inside guy right away. So at least you'll have an answer on that. Um, let's see here. Do you have any uh, kind of questions for me in terms of what I'm doing here and all that kind of stuff? What are you doing here? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Other than following through with the, the scheduled meeting with uh, Thais, I just wanted to see if there was kind of a mutual benefit in doing a or having a business relationship with you guys, keeping those products on our shelf. I think we already do carry a lot of stuff on there for you, so that could help you down in that crunch time. Uh, we do always have a person on call. Uh, if you don't want to just call me directly, you can just call the service center, and there is always somebody on call there. Um, so yeah, so we can bring those parts over at any time of the day because how many shifts are you guys running right now uh, we're running two shifts two shifts so that's from seven to to like seven at night gotcha or one in the morning something like that yeah five days a week or seven five five so that would make it pretty pretty easy especially if there's no weekend call outs yep. there should be no reason that any any slowdowns would occur in terms of getting you guys parts, even if it's not typical business. Our maintenance hours. guys do work on the weekend sometimes, though. Okay. So sometimes we need stuff at moments notice on yeah. Saturday and Sunday. But yeah, absolutely. I think that would possibly be a place where that preventative maintenance could come into play if we, you know, got to that point and they would appreciate that, making sure those parts are showing up Thursday, Friday, they have them all in order and then they're ready to get to work. So there's no wasted time on their weekends, I'm sure. You know, I'm, even if they like coming to work, not everybody likes working on a Saturday or a Sunday. So I'm sure they want to get the most out of their time there. So do you guys charge for pre preventative maintenance? To create the plan? No, we just need that account with, um, it would go along with your committed inventory list. So any part that you would need for your preventative maintenance would be on the committed inventory list. Um, do we have to pay for that? Inventory? Create that list. Uh, so not initially up front. We cover all of that. We would make sure that all of that's on the shelf. And then any part on there would need to be ordered within 18 months. Uh, if not, then we either talk about you guys, you know, shooting us PO for that product. Um, if you guys really, really don't need it, we can try to see if, you know, we can get it out to a different service center if somebody else is using that part. Um, we can discuss um, those by a product by product basis okay. kind of thing. Would you sell those parts to other people? If they were on our list? 
you're on your list for a specific quantity, those would be designated for you guys. Okay. Um, if we didn't have a specific PO and somebody was really, really needing it, that would be a reach out kind of thing. And we discuss it, see if you guys were going to need it, you know, in the next coming months or before our next PO was coming in for that stocked item. Okay. Um, but if you guys say you're needed, then you know it's it's for you at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any other questions over those? Uh... I don't think so. Um, that one gearbox is our biggest problem right now, so mm -hmm. we really need some help with that. Um, but the price has got to be good too. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. Um, would you be able to meet sometime next week? And if I'll shoot you over the quote. Um, for at least that gearbox, see if we have it in stock, see if we can get that coming to you. If you guys are waiting on it right now. That's my biggest priority. So if you can get that to me, uh, yeah, work something out. Absolutely. And then if you're not able to get me that list, maybe we can talk about that sometime next week as well. Sure. Yeah. Perfect. Do, do you have a specific time that works for you right off the bat or would you like me to reach out? Uh, yeah. I wanted to reach back out to me and we'll see. Perfect. Reach out to schedule. You got it. Perfect. And I think the only other thing that uh, Kais was really wondering that we haven't really gone over is just for warranties on those products. Uh, do you guys have, um, what's your guys' current situation with your suppliers and going through like returns or, you know, parts break in, you know, only a week after getting them installed and stuff like that? Uh, well, we expect stuff to be replaced until something like that happens. Yeah. Um, every product is a different warranty, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, we look for our suppliers to respond quickly when we have a warranty issue. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's basically the same situation for us. Obviously, uh, each manufacturer has has their own warranty, and we go by that a little bit. If a part is made to order, we do specify that um, in the quote. And obviously, that's a more difficult situation to kind of work around. I don't know my, how many parts you guys are using that are that specific to your machine. So, Some things. Yeah. yeah. So we can definitely work around that and maybe work something out with the supplier to, to make sure that those guidelines and stipulations were cl are clearly spelled out in terms of, you know, something went down on you only okay. a month after end of use. Okay. Good deal. Unless you got any other questions for me, I think I've got, I'll get you that, uh, that quote and that pricing and see if we have that gearbox in stock for you. Sure. Yeah. Yep. I have another meeting, so I got to run. Yeah, no, I appreciate you making the time. You bet. You can uh, see your way out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you. You have a good rest of your day. You too. Thank you.